Hey guys, Airgun Ops. We're gonna be uh, going over the Benjamin Marauder today with uh, extra attachment. Um, in my previous videos, um, you noticed that I added on um, rock mount bipod, uh, tactical lights, and stuff like that. But I kind of went over um, the hump this time with some with some things that most people wouldn't have balls to do on a Benjamin Marauder. Um, what I did today is installed what they call a foregrip. That's right. I had to drill through the stock and actually install that. I had to, well here, um, this is a um, UTG ergonomic um, foregrip, okay, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good, um, pretty good grip, um, read some reviews, it seems like the um, National Guard, a lot of military people actually prefer that grip on their m16s and assault rifles and stuff like that so um i feel like i made a smart move by getting that particular grip as you see here's my rock mount um, bipod i'll have all that on if you guys are in the call of duty you would you would consider this being bling pro all the shit i got it uh, attached to this gun but um, anyway, what you're going to have to do if you guys ever choose to do some crazy shit like this. Because I really don't give a fuck. I love my rifle. And um, I'm going to add some, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it work for me, you know. I don't like my shit to be like everybody else's. I like to go above and beyond. Um... But anyway, you're going to have to get some um, some Picatinny rails, handrails hand or whatnot. You can order those at PyramidAir.com. Also, you can order that UTG um, grip. They also got the five-stage grip to the ambidextrous, but I'm not going to fuck around with that one just in the event that it breaks or it's loose or wobbly. I like this one because it's just one it's just one stage. It doesn't like turn. It doesn't turn or do any of that. It's just straight on there. Solid secure vertical um mount. Get you some Picatinny rails. Um don't use the factory bolts that come with them with the rails because they're made to screw into a threaded um, metal assault rifle they're not made to go through wood they're only half inch bolts this wood is a, a good um, two inches thick in the inside it's probably got like a, a inch um, well lying in the middle for the action to fit in but you got a good solid two inches the you're gonna have to penetrate you're gonna need the counter sink because you're gonna get threaded bolts you're gonna go up through with that inch bolt, you're going to need the counter seat deep enough. That way that that bolt, I mean, yeah, your bolt is uh, exposed at least a half inch. So you can put on a number 10 um, nut on it and actually thread that on. That way you get that secure lock into the stock. You should see that hand guard. I can... Your grip goes on wherever you want to. I can still get some ex uh, extra light, some accessories like that, just to add some flash. I even got two side rails that I haven't installed. I'm probably not going to go that far just yet, but I'm, I, I am going to um, eventually paint my Marauder black because I don't like this brown at all. It's my gun. I can do what the fuck I want with it, so... Don't be on YouTube asking me, why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's my money. 
if I don't like it I'll sand it down prime it again buy a new stock um, so please don't insult me with those negative remarks I love all my subscribers all my fans friends on YouTube this is my new account but you guys know my other account to follow me on iFactual um, this is a great rifle like I said back back to it we're gonna go ahead and slide this foregrip onto the Picatinny rails and once you get that locked it's just a matter of screwing the battery cap slash lock back onto the rails. And then you got a solid mount. But you're definitely going to have to be particular when you're drilling or whatnot. Just meter it in slowly. A little bit at a time. Stop. See where you at. Go. Took me a good 35-40 minutes because I wanted to be precise with with the drilling just to preserve as much wood in the stock as possible for a more sturdy or secure fit on these rails this is a really really good um if i if my wife was up here i would have her uh hold the camera for me but as you can see you just hold the back of that stock put the butt pad on your shoulder hold that there and you got some good good solid um uh aim and i'm gonna be using that when i'm doing some ratting at night if i'm bench shooting for the rats i'll have my hair's bipod on but if i'm you know freestanding i'm gonna definitely go with the utg i got the leapers 4 through 16 by 50 tactical scope adjustable objective parallax side wheel Red green illumination, eye relief, 16 um, optical zoom. I need to pump that up. I'm getting a scuba tank here pretty soon. Don't comment on uh, why am I using a hand pump because I am waiting for my scuba tank to get here. I ordered the 80, um, what is it, the CC uh, tank. I also got the Foster fitting whip. So I'll be good to go here pretty soon. But in the meantime, I will be hand pumping. I don't need to hear about the moisture that you guys are going to keep talking about. <clears throat> it's my gun. I'll buy another one if it fucks up. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. We're going to be doing some NRA air gun competition here this summer. I'm also going to be doing some paintballing. But this is definitely going to be on my uh, go-to got crossman phantoms a couple other pellet guns i put on the back burner this is one of the best pcps in the usa other than the uh, air arms and the y rock and stuff like that talon air force condor all that good stuff benjamin marauder is um a really good rifle pcp i got mine set at 3000 psi maximum also adjusted, made a lot of its stock adjustments. Velocity, I'm getting 1,100 feet per second out of my .22 <clears throat> uh, cow pellets. Um, don't be afraid to take chances and take risk. As you see, it pays off. Get you some confidence, get you some balls, and drill those holes through that wooden stock. Just don't fuck anything up, guys. UTG all day. Digital camo bag. Rock mount bipod. I got the Sony DCR DVD with night shot. I'm going to do some serious night vision soon as my um, infrared laser illuminator gets here. It's going to be insane. Stay tuned and add me. We're going to have some insane videos, guys. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe to me, message me, post any positive comments or questions. I will respond in a timely manner. Thank you guys. Love you all. Peace.